Hey there, it's Erin from Little Self Learning, and today I wanted to share with you a quick song that I sing with my preschoolers to help them with parts of a book. So one of the standards for preschool and pre-K teachers is that it's our job to help teach our little ones all about the parts of a book. So the front cover, the back cover, the spine, the title page, and then also the information that's on the title page, the title of the story, the author and the illustrator, who they are and what they do. So it's a lot of information for our little ones to learn. And so I like to put it to a song before I do a read aloud to help them remember. Now, full disclosure, I did not create this song. My daughter's kindergarten teacher is a phenomenal teacher and she used to sing this song every time she read aloud in class. So my daughter would come home and sing this song and I would hear it when I was in the classroom volunteering and our family just adopted it because we loved it so much. So now I sing this song with my preschoolers before we read because it's a great way to help remember those important parts of a book. So no matter what book you're reading out loud, I just have an example here, How to Catch a Dinosaur. Before I read the story, I like to sing the song and it goes like this. This part of the book's called the front cover. This part of the book's called the spine cover. This part of the book's called the back cover. And this part's called the title page. And then we talk about what is on the title page. The title of this story is How to Catch a Dinosaur. And then we talk about the author, what the author's job is, writing the words of a story. And we say who the author is. And in this book, it's Adam Wallace. And then we talk about the illustrator, what the illustrator's job is, drawing the pictures. And in this case, it's Andy Elkerton. And of course, if they're the same person, you can point that out. If the book that you're reading doesn't have illustrations, maybe it has photographs, you can point that out as well. But when you sing the song before you read, you're just putting it to a catchy tune and then they're gonna be able to point out all of those parts of a book, especially when they go to kindergarten and that's one of the um, standards that they need to master. Now, if you are reading a book that doesn't have a title page, which a lot of board books don't have title pages, like this one, this is how I sing when there's no title page. This part of the book is called the front cover. This part of the book's called the spine cover. This part of the book's called the back cover. And this book has no title page. Oh no! So we make a big deal out of it. There's no title page. What are we gonna do? So then we talk about when there's no title page in a book, you can find all of the information that's usually on a title page on the front cover. So then we would talk about the title of this story. In this case, it's If I Could Keep You Little. And then we talk about, again, the author, what their job is, the illustrator, what their job is, who they are. And in this case, it's the same person for both. Author and illustrator is Mary Ann Richmond. And side note, if you have not read this book yet, it's so, so good. It actually makes me cry every time I read it. So if you are a parent and you are interested in a great book about our little ones growing up, this is a great book. Highly recommend it. So there you go. It's just a quick and easy song. I sing it before every read aloud with my preschoolers. They catch on super fast, then they sing along, and then they're able to point out all of the important parts of a book. So I hope that information was helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know. And you can find lots of more helpful resources over at my website, littleslovelearning.com. Have a great day.